What's good, Shell? Trying to hear the most woke, no joke, and I'm blah! back at again with a brand new series called NFL in a Nutshell, where I zoom out from Panthers news and try to tackle a few of the other topics that are going on in the NFL. You know, Panthers news is kind of slow right now, and I also think that NFL in a Nutshell is a pretty clever name for the channel name. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna keep it a bowberry biscuit. What this first topic is gonna be is actually kind of depressing. Let's go ahead and go straight to PIP. I wanna go right into this. Now, this isn't the the best source, the best site to be at, but they get the scoop most of the time. This is TMZ Sports. Look at this headline. Bill Zay Jones, insane nude, bloody arrest after penthouse meltdown. There's a video, I'm gonna watch it, but I'm gonna read the, the, the story first. So, just give you a little uh, clue what we're gonna get into. I haven't watched the video yet, but I read this story on a, I saw this story on a news site, and then I came over here to the link. But it says, Bills wide receiver Zay Jones got into a bizarre naked struggle with his brother, who's also in the NFL, and an in it in a bloody mess with Zay in handcuffs. TMZ Sports obtained this video of a crazy fight that went down on Monday night in a downtown LA apartment building. Zay is stark raving nude while grappling with his brother, Caleb Jones of the Vikings. You can hear Zay yelling, I'm going to fight for Jesus. According to witnesses, Caleb was trying to stop him from jumping out a 30th floor window. Zay eventually broke free and ran into the direction of Caleb's apartment. Caleb's girlfriend's apartment. You can hear her screaming. We're told at some point he ran back to the apartment, into the public ba balcony area, and smashed his foot through a window. Photos from the scene show blood on the shattered window and all over the floors and walls. You can see him right here. You can see Zay right here, a little bit of blood around his neck, being escorted outside of the building. We're told Zay actually tried to squeeze through the hole in the window, but Caleb restrained him. This hole right here, bro, he tried to squeeze through this hole right here. That's, re that's so small, bro. That would, that would kill you, honestly. But he's a second-round draft pick last year. According to law enforcement, he's being held in the medical ward in L.A. County Jail. And it's unclear what his condition is at, what his condition is at this point. The bills tell TMZ we're still in the process of gathering information. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this video. This sounds crazy to me. Like I said, I haven't watched this video yet. I only saw the news, and I decided I wanted to watch it for the first time right here. Let's go ahead and put it. It's only a minute and 49 seconds. Dude, what is happening? He's in the hallway. Oh, he's just like pushing past homie. Dude. That's Caleb's girlfriend. Oh my, look at this blood on the wall, dude. Bro, look at this blood on the wall. Is that gauze? This dude is bleeding, bleeding. Bro, who filmed this? This isn't like, that's not like, that's a regular cut. This dude is actually, that's a lot of blood, yo. Dude, what is happening? That's blood trailing down a full hallway. It looks like, my guess would be that he got bloodied from, you know, kicking in that window. But it doesn't show that part of the video. But uh, it does show his blood everywhere. This is a good 50 feet. Dude, that's a good 50 feet down a hallway of a pretty expensive looking apartment building. I'm trying to be in this building, honestly. Bro, show the window. Oh, that piece of wood right there, probably, yeah, I see. Bro, look at this, they are, what? They brought the crew crew out, bro. This is police police. Wow, bro. Okay. So, let's go ahead and go up to, uh, let's go full screen again. Man, what this tells me, what what most people might be thinking off rip is, the first thought is, look at this, man, after the OBJ thing that happened, which, by the way, wasn't a recent thing that happened a while ago, but people are probably going to first jump to the conclusion that, oh, look at this, man, another, another millionaire, another millionaire athlete getting stuck on drugs and, and going crazy. But this, to me, doesn't look like, like a drug fuel kind of thing. This looks like, like, look, uh, what's his name? Caleb Jones looks way too, like, unsurprised by it, honestly. He looks like, he's like oh, my God, this again? Like, it looks like, it looks like he's, like, kind of, like, struggling, like, man, just come on, bro, just chill, bro. I don't, think, I don't think it's drugs. 
I think this is probably something to do with like a mental health issue, which is a serious thing for athletes because you think you know, they're making the millions of dollars. They can just, they, they're, they're, they're millionaires. We don't have to worry about their mental health. But after, you know, DeMar DeRozan, I think it was just like two, three weeks ago talking about his mental health and Kevin Love coming out talking about his mental health. We have to understand that these, these athletes are people too. And this looks like, he said he's going to fight for Jesus and all this stuff and kicking in windows and trying to squeeze through it. I've seen people on drugs. I've seen people on drugs, drugs. Like I'm talking about actual, I'm talking about not just like weed or just like, even just like shrooms or something like that. I've seen people who, who've gotten ridiculous on some hard drugs. And this, I'm not 100% sure this is, I, this doesn't look like, that's it. This looks like schizophrenia to me, bro. This looks like it's, that looks like it's something like actually seriously wrong with his head. And I hope he gets what he, I hope he gets uh, the kind of help he needs. But this is, this is crazy to me, man. Like I don't understand exactly why and how this happened like tonight but man if you're religious send one up to a, for this man Zay Jones he's definitely going through it and just keep in mind that while I might be wrong this might be drug related this could be drug related but just keep in mind that when you hear these stories about athletes or you know mm -hmm. these rich people or whatever that your mind doesn't go straight to like drugs it, this could be a, a, a mental health issue and I hope that that this man, Zay Jones, gets the help that he needs. He's not a Panther, but I really, I mean, you got to understand, these are these are people out here, man. And that's a serious, if you see all that blood, that was a serious danger to him and everyone around him. And he probably scared the hell out of his brother and his girlfriend. But man, what do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. You already know to do that like button. I got a button right here for you to subscribe and a button right here for you to watch more videos. Namaste. Back before you know it.